everyone, it's Melissa, the M for the Everyday Bespoke Hairstyles. This is one of my random.com postings and um, sometimes I just have random thoughts and I just want to share and put it out there. Um, I don't know, I'll tell your story. Um, I used to be a recruiter and I had a dream and my dream was to work closer to home and to work within an educational environment and I prayed on it and I um, just kind of focused on it and I didn't I know I didn't want to be a teacher but I knew I wanted to work within an educational environment supporting young people so remember I'm telling you this story with my natural hair so there is a link um, because I've had natural hair all throughout my career and I, find, I would describe my career as being successful. Now, I then, I, I live within an area, well, Essex. So uh, that's important for people who are, U, who, for the UK um, naturals, when I say Essex, you understand what the challenges would be for somebody um, like me applying for a job because there's not many people like me and then let's include the fact that I've got natural hair um, there are more challenges I saw my dream job in the papers and I'm a recruiter so when I see a job I, I never get rejected for a job unless I want to be rejected so I researched because that's what you do when you're looking for a job first you are clear on the kind of job you're looking for and when you see the job, whether it's advertised online or you see it in the paper, you research. Um, and I used to tell all my candidates that research, find out everything you can know about the environment that you're going to, you're planning to go for an interview for. So I researched the department, I Google searched the managers, I was on it and i applied and i got my cv out and like i'm a pro man i'm gonna match my experience to this job and i was writing and you know when you're in that moment and you know that's your job and i just killed it <laughs> sent it out and i was like i'm getting an interview i'm getting an interview and of course i got an interview because i knew I knew it was my job and I knew I had the skills to get this job. So I go for this job interview and I'm looking sharp. I've got my suit on, I'm articulate, my hair is nice, you know, it's like business-like and I'm ready. And I walk in there and I know that you're supposed to tick your ethnic background but just because I'm called Melissa Blake, um, there's an assumption. And you, you, see the, you see the flicker. You see the flicker. Anyway, got to the interview and I killed it. I answered all the questions. I was articulate and I matched my experience because I researched this job. I researched the department. I, I knew those people interviewed me. And I killed it and I walked out of there and I was like that's my job that's my job because I did everything I was supposed to do I walked out of there and I felt like I did my best and even if I don't get the job which I know I will um, I know I did my best and that's really important where you're going to look for a job and you've gone for the interview I think that's the best you can do is do your best do you like I did authentic me and I basically knew I had the job and I'm a recruiter like I'm a recruiter I'm never going to be rejected for a job I wanted I love that job I wanted that job and then I waited to be offered the job <laughs> and I wasn't offered the job and I wasn't the best candidate and I was like huh what are you talking about I love the best candidate are you having a laugh Essex anyway I was so devastated this was the perfect job for me I always say clarity of vision and I was clear on that that's what I wanted and all my focus and I would say that to you when you're looking for a job all your focus has to be on how can I connect like that's the job I want how can I connect what I've done in the past to this job 
you look make sure you're aware of how you look make sure you stay present make sure you're researching all the managers who's in charge what challenges the department have if there's any press release on them like know your stuff so when you go there they will never say oh it's because you were not good enough i mean i called and they said something like i didn't have the right but they didn't explain it and i just knew that obviously i did not match what was expected but that's okay these are the challenges we have to cope with and that's okay but i cried a bit and i was a bit disappointed and i prayed and i knew that was a dream job that would never come up because i knew that that's the kind of job nobody leaves anyway i prayed for something similar and it never happened but a few weeks later i got a call from hr and i was asked whether i was still interested in the job and i was offered the job because I did everything I was supposed to do to get that job and that was my job and just because you see me like this and this is a message to you all just because you see me like this does not allow that there's no excuse for choosing somebody less qualified because you don't look the part and I knew that was my job and I got that job yes. and I did that job for three years I love the job and then it ended and I was made redundant Yes, and now clarity of vision I knew I wanted to do hair and I had clarity of vision and what happened basically enabled me to be here and share this story with you so this is for anyone out there who has a dream um, and is thinking how am I good I, I, I do I look the part do I, don't ask any questions just know what you want to do and own it and then just go for it and see what happens. That's my random.com moment. Random.com moment. But I hope you get something out of it because it's out there for you to do what you want to do with it. The message is have clarity of vision, know who you are and own it and then just go for it and see what happens. Thank you for watching this random video. Feedback would be great because I don't even know what the hell I'm doing or I'm sharing this story with you but I think I have a feeling it will help somebody and if it, help, if it helps one person to just go for it and not be thinking oh my hair is an issue or just do the best you can do with your hair there's postings out there there's so many things out there to help you and if you're near bespoke hairstyles come get bespoke up and do your best and own what you want to own and get to where you want to go live your dream take care everyone thanks for watching this post take care bye